I do think when you come out of a Disney film, you feel a little younger because you get in touch with those great feelings you had as a kid. So Roy, it's great to see you. We had a great presentation. It was terrific, I enjoyed it. <laughs> How was it for you to show it to real audience? You know, every, every time I show the film to a, an audience, I get excited because they get excited. And, um, you know, I cannot wait until we are able to show the film, the entire film, to everyone. So every time I tell someone, oh, there's a new Disney movie coming out, the expectations, they are like huge. Excellent. So <laughs> how do you match that expectation? So actually, how do you surprise the audience with new stuff? You know, I think it's all about the imagination. And I work with these amazing artists, you know, in every department. You know, there's multiple departments that put these films together, and everyone brings something to it. Whoa! What kind of airship is that? I've never seen anything like it! Baby Glade! What is the president doing in our front yard? Our entire world is in grave danger. I want you to come with me on an expedition. I'm not my father. He was the explorer. I know you were just a kid when he went missing, but now you're all we got. Mr. Clade, I'm a huge fan oh, thank you. of your dad. Do you think you could forge his autograph? What? So without spoiling too much, what's happening in Strange World? Well, it's a, you know, Strange World is a beautiful story about a family who is on an adventure and discover a whole world underneath theirs. Uh, and it's, it's all based on uh, that wonderful uh, type of drama that was developed by Jules Verne in his novels in the, the turn of the century and the great uh, films from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s like King Kong and Raiders of the Lost Ark. It, it's really just a, a, a wonderful adventure, but it's all centered around this amazing family. Where in the world are we? <laughs> Ethan, you brought the dog? Sorry! So you worked on Frozen, on Tangled, which in German we call Rapunzel, yeah. the original ah. story, fairy yeah. tales. And you won an Oscar for uh, Big Hero 6. Baymax. Baymax. Exactly. Uh, congratulations on that. Thank you. Too. That was a very nice yeah. evening. Let me tell you. Yeah, I, I believe time. that. And you have the same team on board, a similar team on board? It is kind of like a repertory company. You know, you have my visual effects supervisor I did Tangled with. Uh, my head of effects I've done the last three films with. Uh, m m you know, I've known these people... Uh, Don has been there, my director has been at Disney for 25 years. Oh. I've been there for 30. So it's like we've known each other since we were kids, right? So it's, it's like a family, uh, and it's just, you, you start to understand rhythms, and it's just, it's a great place to work. I love it. It sounds really like a fairy tale. But if you have <laughs> a fairy tale uh, where everyone kind of knows the story or knows some characters, is it easier or even harder if you make a complete new world, a strange world uh, that no one has ever once seen You know, I, I think both of them are equally challenging and fun. You know, um, even, you know when, we, when we did Rapunzel, uh, it was creating a new story out of, you know, a, you know, a myth, a fairy tale. Uh, and when we are doing uh, Strange World, we're creating a story from whole cloth, you know, brand new from scratch. Ah! Whoa. Hello. You probably don't understand a word I'm saying. Of course I understand you. Huh? <laughs> Dad? Dad? Grandpa? I'm a grandpa. You fall in love with the world, you fall in love with the characters, and then you tell your story. And it's a, you know, it's, you're always on a journey. I know movie makers uh, use the word, it's something you have never seen before, but I saw it now a little <laughs> bit, and I really can say That's it's great. something that I've never seen before. I really want to see that strange world. But there's the great story, the amazing 
uh, breathtaking animation and then there is this voice uh, the voice actors yeah can you tell us some story about who's in and uh, oh, yeah. how was it to work with them oh yeah no well I mean first of all I've never had a stronger cast I mean th th this cast They're all amazing. Searcher Clade, who is our lead, is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. And Jake has been so instrumental. You know, animation is a collaborative art form. And when you get an actor who wants to collaborate in terms of the story, and in terms of the action, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. You have Dennis Quaid, Lucy Liu, and, and a lot more. Yeah, no, a Jabuki Young White who plays Ethan, the young, the young son, And then uh, Gabrielle Union, who is a phenomenal actress and brings, you know, a sense of, of uh, improvisation to the, to the screen. Grandpa's awesome! He is not awesome! You gave me a machete for my birthday? <laughs> Classic Jaeger claimed. <laughs> I was too. People always love the hero, but most of the time they even more love the sidekicks. And yeah. you don't have only one, you have kind of two sidekicks. Yeah, exactly. It's Legend the Dog right. and uh, uh, Splat. Or Plutch. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The German title. Exactly. Yeah, we, did a lot of it, uh, we did a lot of work in terms of figuring out what Splat would be called in German, but Plutch. Do you mind if I call you Splat? You just kind of give me Splat vibes. Ah, ow! I guess I deserve it. Um, no, uh, you know, it's interesting because I, I don't even think of them as sidekicks. I think of them as instrumental in terms of the story of, of this film. Mm -hmm. And really, in a, in a, in a, you're going to find that Plotch is such a fun and interesting character. I, I consider him kind of a lead. Okay, lead character. Yeah, yeah exactly. because normally I dress up as character because, of course, first the first movie, Strange World, stands yeah. on its own, and in Stra Strange World 2, I, I promise you, I will uh, dress yeah. up as Plush. Well, I think I think even before Strange World 2, I think you need to start putting your your Plush costume, costume, costume together. Okay, yeah, okay. Absolutely. We need you to figure this out, otherwise we're doomed. We are doomed. Wait, seriously? <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. So, um, in this movie uh, or in animation, how is diversity important too? I think one of the great things about working with Don Hall is that he loves creating worlds that are diverse and inclusive. And, um, you know, Big Hero 6, I think, was an amazing team of, you know, multicultural, you know, the, the, the San Francisco itself was a concept between <laughs> Tokyo and, and San Francisco. And this world is completely... Uh, uh, its own thing and we were able to just have complete freedom to tell the story in a way that reflects what I think our society is today. So people sometimes talk about the magic of Disney. What would you say? What is the magic of Disney? I think the magic of Disney is taking telling stories that allow people to go back into their youth. Uh, you know, I, I love the fact that we tell stories for all ages, but I do think when you come out of a Disney film, you feel a little younger because you get in touch with those great feelings you had as a kid. And I just, I know for me, I remember the first animated film I saw, which was Pinocchio, and I was in awe. And my favorite character was Jiminy Cricket. And I, I carry that to today, and I carry that into the work that we do. Thank you very much, Ryan. My pleasure. It's really great. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Strange World 2. And yeah, one. and one. I want you to, to visit this world. Yeah, and I think yeah. we all want to visit it.